Brand did the kill. Brand did the kill. Who knew that sniffing rice would give you a hard on? At least for Hanada. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about this one. Hello there, Nate Jackson, Criterion Collection Viewer Guy here. Once again, my friends, number 38, Seijun Suzuki's Branded to Kill. Yes, it's been a long time coming. Um, I'll ex explain it later, but let's get to this. Let's just talk about this for a minute or two. Once again, we're re-watching this and Suzuki and all that good stuff. Um, 19, uh, 1967, 91 minutes, uh, black and white, moral Japanese. This isn't a bad movie, but it sure is one of the most confusing movies I've ever seen. Um, it, it's like I struggled. I struggled. I remember struggling the first time to make any sense of it outside of, oh, he gets aroused when he sniffs boiled rice, you know. Um, and then the, he's like the third best, you know, third best hitman, y y Yazuka, or Yakuza. Is it Yakuza? Yakuza. Um, and all that. Um, as far as, I mean, everything else, it was just like, it was just very hard to follow. Um, and, and I, and I don't want, I didn't want to bring this up. And I think I've already mentioned this before, maybe in one of my earlier reviews. And I, and I'm going to sound really racist. So I, I apologize if this, you know, if this, you know, upsets anyone. I, I don't mean to, but I'm just, this is just the reality of, you know, how I interpret movies. With movies like this, um, it is very difficult sometimes to tell characters apart, at least with Japanese and Chinese movies, because characters from, because Japanese people have very similar features um, to one another. So it's very difficult to, you know. Now, now with this movie, it was easy for, to distinguish Hanada because, you know, you know, big, big chipmunk guy, you know, Joe Shishido had the, he had the cheeks, you know. So it was easy to tell, you know, oh yeah, there's the guy we're rooting for and everybody else, but anybody else is just like, who's that, who that, who that, who that, who that, you know. So it was very difficult to follow. Um, obviously, this was the movie that got Suzuki fired from his, uh, for his, uh, from the uh, film studios um, because it didn't make any sense and it was a bomb, apparently. And of course, everybody nowadays says, oh my God, it's the greatest movie ever. Shut up, it's not the greatest movie ever. I still think Suzuki's masterpiece, still fighting elegy. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so I went into this like trying to think, and all the time that I've obviously you know I was supposed to do this a few days ago, but I went into this thinking, okay, all this time I better have something to say, and I still don't have anything to say about this one. It's not a bad movie. Again, it's not a bad movie. I feel like if I watch this maybe nine, ten, fifteen more times. I'll get it. I actually just read the um, the Wikipedia article that summarizes the plot, and just to like, and like, what the hell happened in this movie? And half of that shit I don't remember at all. I'm sitting here watching it and I'm thinking, okay, wait, what? Who? What? Where? How? When? You know? Um, again, like Suzuki, it's fun to watch, um, it's fun to look at. Uh, the butterfly imagery. Is you know all cool and the shots and all that. Um, I think one of the the cooler scenes is um, where uh, Hanada kills one of his. I guess he's hired to kill these guys, and he kills one of them like he's like a dentist or something, and so he kills him through the like the drain pipe. Like you see him like lean. You see the guy leaning over the drain pipe, and then he's suddenly shot. And you see Hanada's like taking the drain pipe off and shot him through the drain and he like rehooks the pipe up. I was like, ah, <laughs> that's pretty clever. Um, but yeah, outside of that, it's just, it's very confusing. I mean, the woman in the rain, I know she's like, she's this woman who's supposed to be hire, who wants to hire him to do a job. And his wife gets jealous and all that. And they have sex after he sniffs the rice. And yeah, it's just not... It's just a movie. I mean, obviously, I think Suzuki, I think Suzuki meant it this way. I think Suzuki meant to make a movie that was a little different, um, a little confusing, a little less easier to follow. And if that's the case, so be it. He did a fantastic job. Um, but that being said, you know, it's you know, it's still it's. I guess it's just one that needs to be followed a little. But at the same time, I'd like to have I'd like to have at least gotten it the second time around. And the fact that I didn't. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on on him 
because I can. This is my fucking channel, you know? Um, and, of course, all you guys will say, No, you're wrong, Nate. We'll watch it nine more times. I don't want to watch it nine more times. I'd much rather watch Monsieur Hulot's Holiday nine more times. I'd much rather watch Shadows nine more times. I want to watch... I want to watch Lady Vanishes nine more times. Well, maybe not Lady Vanishes, but I watch My Man Godfrey nine more times. Um, so, yeah. But, anyway. So, yeah. So, Suzuki. He's the guy. And he did the movie. And it's weird. And that's all I got to say. I'm sorry. That's, that's I mean, it's not a great re-watching, re-review, re but it's the best I can do for now. Maybe I'll re-re-re-review this one a few down, years down the road. But, for now... It's weird. It's it's not hilarious. It's not. This is the brutal, hilarious, and visually inspired. Visually inspired, yes. Brutal, maybe, but hilarious, no. It ain't it ain't that funny. Um. So yeah. Sorry about that. It's not funny. It, but it is it is weird though. So if if it's funny because it's weird, nailed it. Branded to kill. B. So be it. Uh, supplements. Yeah, and I don't think this is the first time I've done. I think I don't think I did the. Um, don't think I did the. The 2011 edition, the first time around. So this is a chance for me to do the new, the newer supplements. Um, there's of course a new interview with Suzuki and assistant director Masami Kuzu. Um, there's an interview from '97, from I guess the same interview that was included on the Tokyo Drifter DVD. And then a new interview with uh, Sho, Joe Shishido, which is probably the most entertaining thing about this because. He's definitely got a trippy sense of humor talking about um, the size of his penis. and uh, He fakes out the film camera by pulling out a real gun on them, which is just a little cat, I mean, a fake gun, like a cat gun, and a shooting, and they all freak out and they all have a laugh at it. And there was another story he told, and I can't remember it, but yeah, so if anything, it's just, it's interesting to hear Joe Shijito talk about, you know, working on Brandy to Kill and working on the stories and all that. And, uh, of course, we remember him from, I remember him from, um, what was it, uh, Fighting Elegy? Youth, Youth of the Beast, one of those movies. Uh, so, yeah, it was cool to see him again after just recently seeing some, some cool, some good, uh, some really good um, Suzuki movies. And, yeah, so, and then there's trailer, and, so, yeah. Miranda Kill, B, not, definitely, probably, uh, where would we rank this? Gay Flesh, uh, this is probably my least favorite, sadly. Um, ranking this, because we've seen six, we've seen, of the six movies we've seen, let's see, if I if I had to rank them, Branded to Kill would be number six, and then probably, oh man, um, probably Gate of Flesh after that, then Story of a Prostitute, and then, um, what else? Um, then Tokyo Drifter, and then Youth of the Beast and Fighting Elegy. That's probably that probably would be it. That's probably the rankings. I'm just off the top of my head, and that's how I can remember them. Um, so yeah. So anyway, but Brandon Kill, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. I watched it on Sunday, and I'm just now doing the review. Yeah, I just I just caught caught up in my life and. I didn't have time to do it. I meant to do it. I was going to do it like late at night. You know, I ended up going out and with friends. And by the time I got back, I was like, you know, okay, maybe I'll do it. And uh, I was just so tired. I just didn't want to, you know, do a really tired review. <laughs> Although I know I sound tired now, but that's because I'm getting sick again. So what else is new? Anyway, um, so yeah, so so it pushes us a little for a little back um, the schedule. Um, and then yesterday, you know, I said I was going to do Kwai Dawn, but a friend came over and we hung out, and I didn't want to subject her to, to you know, for a three-hour, you know, Japanese horror movie. You know, not that she wouldn't enjoy it, but it's three hours, you know, and it is Japanese, but she loves horror, so whatever. So anyway, yeah, so uh, so today, later tonight, you will see Kwai Dawn. We're going to get to it today. And then Thursday... We're ending this thing. We are ending this thing on Thursday, guys. It is happening. I spoke to Josh and Caitlin. Um, I don't. I still don't know how the camera's gonna work. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is, if for some reason that I can't record us together, like using Google Hangouts or something, I'm gonna ask them to send me. I'll I'll have them send me a video. Um, I'll just ask them, hey guys, can you send me like a music video or not a music video, but like a 
like a video and I'll edit it all together in my my uh, my software and I hope that the audio won't go out of sync because that really bugs me that the last that's the reason why you haven't seen me doing any editing in my videos is because the last time we did it earlier this season for some reason the audio was out of sync and I don't know why that might have been because of the length of the video um, in which case I'll just have to remember to do um, shorter bits however I will have a chance to um, test it later tonight because later tonight as well as as well as the interview to quite as well as the re-review of quite on we're gonna talk about the worst top 14 Criterion Collection movies from number one to 100. That's gonna happen tonight. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just record, record it all in one video and then we'll just edit it together and we'll see how it works. Um, so anyway, so that's the plan, that's the schedule. And then tomorrow um, we'll do season two. We'll do um, the first, the worst 100 from season two. And then Thursday we'll do, yeah, we'll do uh, Life of Co-op Steve Suzu. Um, I am trying to collect the video. I'm getting working on getting all the videos from um, see from season three um, to showcase them all. Um, and uh, yeah, some of them may not come in time. I may go ahead and record it all um, as I get them. I may just record it all during different times, so you may see the camera look a little different. Um, usually, I've done them all in one shot and then just like edited it all together, like each one separate video. And then I'll do like edit it all together, um, but this time around, you know, I think I don't want to wait, you know, for certain videos because some of them are taking longer than others because I kind of didn't do it in enough time to get them all here at the same time. So rather than wait, I think I'll just edit together. Like I could do the ones I own right now, like scenes from marriage, which of course will be in there, uh, or um, or. Uh, Whichever one, whether, which other other ones I own, Tanner eighty eight, yes, I'll be in there, um, and other ones I own. So yeah. So now that you know two of them, but you don't know where they are, and I don't even know where they are. I still gotta rank them because um, I've got my twenty eight. I've got my twenty eight because this probably will not be on it. I, I, if this ends up being on it, I'm gonna kick myself so fucking hard, which I don't have to because it won't be on it. Um, but this might be on the top, top, well, the worst 14 though, you don't know, no. um, probably not though. Anyway, um, so yeah, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't, don't sniff rice. Well, uh, um, well, you can sniff rice, I guess, if that's what turns you on. <laughs> whatever floats your boat, whatever floats your canoe. Uh, yeah, so that's it for me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later tonight for Qui Gon as well as the worst 14 movies from... Season one, and you can only guess what number one is. Until then, goodbye.